Welcome to Pencil College. In five in chapter five point two, example two, we will look at further graphs of modulus functions. Okay, so in this graph, we are asked to sketch y equals the mod of x squared minus four x plus three. So let me just state the strategy that we'll be using. So the first step will be to sketch the graph of y equals to x squared minus four x plus three. Okay. And we all know that this is a quadratic function. So how how does the graph look like? Okay, it looks like a smiley curve, okay, or a quadratic function with a minimum point with two points of intersection along the x-axis and a minimum point over here. Okay, so how do I sketch this graph? Now here's the details. So first and foremost, I will want to I will want to uh, factorize this function over here so y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 3 can be factorized into x minus 3 and x minus 1 okay so when the graph cuts the x-axis your y coordinate is 0 so 0 equals to x minus 3 x minus 1 okay so therefore x is just 1 or 3 okay so this point over here is 1 and this point over here is Okay, more accurately, you can write 1, 0 and, and 3, 0. Okay, to find the minimum point over here, okay, all you need to do is to take the midpoint between the x-coordinate of 1 and the x-coordinate of 3. And this gives me 2. Okay, so over here, the x-coordinate will be 2. And the y-coordinate, okay, you just need to substitute 2 into the function. Okay, so let me just do some side working over here. So when x is 2, y is 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 3. Okay, press this in your calculator. Okay, in example 2b, we are looking at an extension of what we did in example 2a. So recall that in example 2a, we sketched the graph of y equals to mod of x squared minus 4x plus 3. Okay, and this graph is what you see over here on the left hand side of the screen. Okay, so let me just label in the points, okay, that we have sketched just now. Okay, so this point is 0, 3, this point is 1, 0, this point is 3, 0, and this point is 2, okay, 1. Okay, so with all that labeled in, let us look at the uh, the most the key difference between example 2b and example 2a. So as you can see over here, there is a negative sign. Okay, and when there is a negative sign in front of this entire graph, what happens is that the entire graph you see, okay, will reflect along the x-axis. Okay, so the entire graph will reflect along the x-axis, and you'll get this graph over here. So let me just highlight the points, okay, that has that did not change. So these two points remain the same. And the two points that has changed are over here. This point and this point. Okay. So take note that the x coordinate of this of the y-intercept remains the same. However, the y coordinate has changed from 3 to negative 3. Why? Because the graph has undergone a reflection along the x-axis, okay? And over here, this point, okay, the x-coordinate remains the same. However, the y-coordinate has changed from 1 to negative 1, okay? So just take note of what the negative sign does to the entire graph, okay? Yeah, let's move on. Okay, so let me just give you a summary of what we've done so far. So to sketch a modulus function, first sketch the original graph. Okay, so for example, just now we did y equals to mod of x squared, okay, plus, plus 2, for example. So we will first sketch the graph of y equals to x squared plus 2. Okay, so this is the first thing that we'll do in step 1. In step 2, we will reflect the part of the line below the x-axis, okay, using the x-axis as a line of reflection. And finally, we will retain part of the line below as a dotted line. Okay, so let me just leave you with, this, with some practice questions before we end off. Feel free to pause the video here. Thank you for watching this video. 
For more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. Thank you.